What's up, YouTube? What's going on? We're back. Once again. And we're in the shop. Been a minute. And it's been a while. But no, not much really. to the Jeeps. No. We've been pretty fortunate to not break anything. Well, except your front axle, but no need for two Dana 60 cut down videos. No. Yeah, I don't even want to watch that process a second time. <laughs> I don't even want to do it for <laughs> the second time. <laughs> but today, we got some new hotness from Yukon Gear and Axle. Upgrades. Let me show you what we got. Ooh, ooh, look at that. I mean, that stuff's so nice. I know. I don't even want to put it in. So these are Chrome Molly 1550 shafts for the Dana 60. Let's see. <laughs> Dana 1310? Yeah, 1310. No. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's 1310. A 1310, is that right? Yes. And a 1550. Yeah. I mean, just the thing, we was like, oh man, we're awesome wheeling this stuff. Did we think that? I mean, at one time, I think we did. <laughs> this all stemmed from uh, me breaking the axle shaft, which was probably the fault of the lockout, if I'm being honest. I broke the lockout, and in the process, broke a stub shaft. Go. No-go. No <laughs> that is a no-go. Got both of them. <laughs> and the shaft. It's supposed to be an easy day. <laughs> but regardless, here we are. When it exploded, everything exploded. Yeah. So today's video will be pretty straightforward. We're gonna assemble these axle shafts, show you how we do that, show you what it takes to swap them into the Jeep. I'm I'm running drive slugs now, so no more lockouts for me. I got rid of those. These East bad boy. Shout out to uh, Bart Prater. Oh yeah. Prater's Automotive. He came in uh, clutch with some with the hookup <laughs> with some drop slugs. So uh, I wheeled it really hard at the meat beat, as it is stock shafts and the drop slugs with zero issues. Um, probably did some of the hardest trails I've ever done in that Jeep. Yeah, you can tell. She's looking a little tattered. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at that while we're here, because you guys haven't seen this thing up close and in, in person sad. lately. The front end damage was uh, my buddy Brett. He, uh, well, I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> Can you consider him a buddy if he does that? Well, that's a good point, actually. <laughs> anyway, he drove over my tire and caught the front corner of the Jeep. Pretty much totaled it. Uh, the door got hit on a tree um, and the hand door handle broken. That happened somewhere in the 50s at AOP. Uh, but I got up the trail, so... But yeah, that's all the new damage, I think. And you can almost put. What do we have here? The factory one. Yeah, so. Inside that. What are the factory U joints? Uh, 1450s. 1410s. 1410s. All right, well, let's get to putting these things together. Yeah. Well, I always like to do it. Do the shafts first. Have we ever assembled new shafts, nope. new U joints? Nope. We're always like trying to hammer the ears back out. Well. Like, yeah, <laughs> I was looking at that other one. Well, we welded those. Yeah. The ones, well, every axle that we've ever had, we've welded them in. Because the caps don't fit in them tight. But remember when we first built mine, we were out there at the dumpster with the shaft hooked in the dumpster latch trying to bend the ears back oh, out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Were, and we're bending in. <laughs> you like to do the long side first? Oh, yeah. Because, like, this is easier. To, to manhandle? You do this, and then you're trying to manhandle this side. Yeah. That makes sense. So, it's always zerg fitting. Make sure you get it out. I'm sorry, on my axles again. Draw shafts out. Ready to go? The last one I did was for our buddy Devin, and uh, it was a trail repair, and I actually dropped like three of the needles. <laughs> I couldn't find them. On the trail repair, yeah. We put it in, he wrote it out, and it broke on him at went wrong. Just as long as you don't drop it in there sideways. Yeah. And by the time you get this thing together, you will know. Because you will not be able to squeeze it all the way together. And if you do squeeze it all the way together, you're not going to be able to turn it. Yeah. Now, you don't have to have a snap on dead blow to do this. But it does help. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh, I like that. That is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now. The dead blow trick is it's nice, especially if you got something like this. But a lot of times what you've seen us run into, there's only so far that you can go because by the time you're trying to push both of them out, hammer's not going to quite do it right. Well, dead blow anyway. You can smack a hammer on it and mushroom everything and mess it all up if you want to. But if you don't know what this is, this is a ball joint tool. Now, they've got nice ones out there. I've had this one for a long time, but it also does U-joints, what you just seen, what we've done with this. Uh, if you don't have one, put down the hammer in the 15, 16 socket and go spend about 60 bucks and buy one of these. It'll make your life a whole lot easier when it comes to drive shafts, few joints, ball joints. There's all kinds of other things that you can use it for. But like I said, there's some nice ones out there now, but this one works for us and we keep using it. And where do you get those at? I bought this one at O'Reilly's since we've done the, the hardest did, and heaviest one. Yeah, first. we did the tough one first. We'll go with the easy one. If you don't know much about installing new joints, I just like to clean these up real good. The grease attracts a lot of dirt. Well, there's a lot of dirt in this shop. Like, I, we ain't even done anything with these. I pulled a shard of metal about that big off of that one when I cleaned it a minute ago. I don't know where it come from. But that's exactly the reason of something sticking. And I, I really didn't even see it. If I'd have got in there with the metal bearings, it would have destroyed that cap first ride out. You got to keep these things as clean as you can, keep them greased, all that good stuff. Make sure all your needle bearings and everything's right. When you set it in, stick it all the way out. Make That way you can make sure that all your needles go on. Press it up, get it down in the hole. You see how it just slid in. The U-joint's in there good. First hit, you can sink it a little bit. Now you can just pick up and the inertia will just drive it on in. Pop this out, bring it all the way up. Just another cap. Do the same thing. Now this is where it's going to get kind of tricky because you got to make sure it's get lined up right. It's lined up good. Now you're just kind of floating the body so you make sure that the, yes. the needles in either cap can't come out. Yeah. So I'm at this point now. So just as long as these, this cap doesn't pop back out, does something crazy, I can smack this all I want. The needles are set. It's got enough on each side that it's going to keep them in there. Just set it right in. That's all there is to it. But it's right on the line. That's what we're doing is get it to where you can see. Yeah, the groove for the clip. <clears throat> and I like the way that Yukon's milled these things down and got everything so specific. Once we put this clip in, you run that, sink it out till it stops. And if you've got a heavy enough impact, you will break these if you're not careful. Flip it over, do it again. Like butter. Uh, we got one more of these to do. Then we're gonna get the Jeep in here and start taking it apart to actually install these. Yep, boy. We're going. These right here, you want to them out. If you're not careful with them, and you go just slam it in there, you won't knock the cell all the way out because of course carriers in there, but you will knock it out enough to where that thing will leak. And then you're taking this thing completely apart. And ain't nobody got time for that. Nope, if we ever. I feel like that bomb down. Before you see.
at that. Mm. That's it. That's all there is to it. it what did it take, uh, what, however long this video is, 15 minutes to do it? That's well, it. come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> but it is that easy. The chrome always should be the ticket for I think we'll be good. Set up. Thanks for watching, guys. And again, huge shout out to Yukon Gear and Axel. They awesome. Yeah, so now I got Yukon Gears, Yukon Grizzly, and Yukon Shafts in the Dana 60. I'm not going to be able to keep up like that. It's... Oh, come on now. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And maybe one day we'll see you out on the trail. Peace. <clears throat> it wouldn't take too much to set it up. Yeah. Pretty good size. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs>